Hello, this video will go over the operation of the Hendrickson quick draw air operated slider pin release valve shown here. So the drivers use this valve when they want to release their slider pins when they want to move the tandems. What they do is uh, they set the trailer brake, they come over, pull this valve, when they pull it out, the pins go in and uh, the brakes are still set so they can move their tandems and by releasing the trailer brakes or by coming back here and pushing the button, the pins come back out and they're set. So the valve you see on the trailer is the new one. We recently replaced it because this is the old one. And as you can see, the push-pull handle is bent down and it's leaking and it's hard to move back and forth. And this probably happened because a uh, lack of driver training um, probably didn't know that the brakes had to be set for you to be able to pull out this handle. So if the brakes are released and you try to pull out this handle, you can kind of do it, but it fights you. It really wants to pull back in and some people just, you know, put a pry bar in there or something and pull it out and it bends these. So it's important to know that the brakes have to be set, no air to the red glad hand in order to be able to operate this push-pull valve in and out without damaging it. All right, I've gotten us over at a scrap bogey to better illustrate the way this thing is plumbed to show you the way it operates and how it releases the pins once the brakes are released. Okay, so there's four ports that we'll be addressing on this valve. There's gonna be the supply, which is this blue hose right here. And because it's an air auxiliary system, it's not part of the braking system, it's gotta be fed by a pressure protection valve, which I'll prove to you right now. So it's the port in the bottom. Go up here, see that hose moving. And as you can see, I'll go to the bottom of the tank there. I'll spin around so you can see it. Right there, pressure protection valve. So again, any air auxiliary system, whether it be the tire inflation system, or the airbags, or the air controlled slider rail pins, um, it's not gonna be piped straight off the air tank. It should be going through a, a, a pressure protection valve. The reason for that is if you get a cut in the airline or a hole in the airbag, uh, you don't want to deplete your entire air tank uh, of all its air and have no air left for braking. So they plumb that stuff through a pressure protection valve uh, to protect the air tank pressure for braking if there's a loss of air pressure. So the supply air comes from the pressure protection valve right here. And comes into the bottom of the valve. So this air right here is what's feeding. Uh, this one's missing the airbags. Oh, no, it's not. There it is. That's what's feeding these airbags. So when you operate the valve, that's what makes the airbags inflate. This valve right here is from the emergency or supply air from the glad hands. So this is basically one loop from the emergency side. So from the red glad hand, the emergency side, the supply side, this would be coming off right here from your trailer. It's coming into the bogey, and if you look to where it's going, it's teed off right here. So this is the reset function uh, on this valve. So this is where air, if air is present, it pull, pulls this valve back in and sets those pins. All right, the other line is our delivery of course out to our actuators or airbags whatever you want to call them that when they inflate the bags inflate and they pull the pins in and of course the other valve on here is the exhaust and our control is the push pull valve <laughs> 